Young Chris Olds. This is Justin Gruner. We're here with a rather, well, flagship edition of Box Busters. Flagship, I like it. 2015 Topps Football. This is the brand in football, the basic brand that everyone collects. Yes, this is the this 60th is anniversary of basic one. Topps Football. And there's a lot of different stuff in this, yeah, but a, a lot of familiar too. Yeah, a lot of, I mean, you get the gold, you get all the parallels, you get a lot of the cool commemorative mm -hmm. stuff. They have a uh, 60th anniversary insert. Uh, One autograph or relic in every box. Yep. Buyback yeah. cards that are different colors of foil to yeah. denote their scarcity. There are uh, various different retail boxes. I did spot this at retail yesterday, um, where there's different, even different kinds of hanger boxes. 36 packs in a box. Huh. It's like a meaty hand pan of cardboard. I think it's like a 500 it's card. Like, they're like big set, meatballs. So. You know, you want to just. Arr, arr. No. No? No. Is that good on the condition? That's bad. Sorry. I got into my football cards. What can I say? And it doesn't want me to open them. I don't. Ooh, the backs are dramatically different this year, sir. Yeah, this whole field is different. And the fronts are full bleed. I so like it. That's definitely a departure for Topps football. Here's a Joe Thomas All Pro. All time fantasy legends. Here's a Jordy Nelson insert. He won't be one this year. Nope. Oh, oh. Here's a Troy Polamalu. I think this is the Here's sixth Packers anniversary uh, insert that I was talking about. Kind of has that retro feel to it. That's kind of cool, but it still has that shine. Aww. Oh. My guys. Thumbs up. Darren Sproles, Jerry Rice. Now these, these are, uh, as you probably saw in Bega.com news, these are a rarer uh, insert to enter a contest. I think you have to mail the cards in, oh, okay. and you get entered if this team happens to win the Super Bowl. Oh, very Or something very like cool. that. Yes, if this team wins the Super Bowl, you get a set of gold parallel cards. I see something different here. This number 14 on the front of it for Demarius Thomas. Oh, because... What and is that? Yeah, here's like a base card where you have like the lo the team logo. So is that a variation? It might be. I honestly I don't I haven't seen that one. The very right. they are, this is very variation heavy. I think there's like yeah, 50 of them. Yeah. There's no there's there's a ton. They're there's on Becca.com news. There's a uh, gallery already. It, it, there's an all pro subset here for Oh, I, okay. I know what it is. This is the top 60 card for this is he's ranked number 14. Ah, okay, I got. So you. that's what it is. It's it's just a subset in the base. You are looking at a couple rookie cards per pack. Yep. Typically, this is a really rookie heavy product. We're going to keep it going here quickly because we have 72 packs of Fury coming your way. So, we might skip a couple of things. Atlanta Falcons. Marcel Darius, All Pro, Roll Tide, squashing some dude. Here's a JJ Watt Defensive Player of the Year. Andrew Luck. Man, I'm getting some, I'm getting Packers like crazy, CJ man. CJ Mosley, Roll Tide again. I'm not going to show Calvin Johnson because who cares about him? Just kidding. Here's a CJ Anderson. That's Fantasy one of the studs. 60th. Calvin Johnson, I will show that since. Oh, I like that. The 88 nod. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, that's that. Hmm. The back's a little funky, but I like that. Oops. Fumbled your card. Don't fumble my card. Here's what the rookie card design looks like. It's just got a slightly different design, like kind of a shifted logo um, off to the side. Kind of has a very uh, what's the brand last year? There was one uh, Strata has a very Strata feel. Yes, to it, it does. And which means maybe maybe they're gonna mix up the rest of the uh, brands to come even more. That's a good chance. This is a we dramatically are. different brand here. Past and present performers insert Jeremy Hill. You know what's interesting too is the box doesn't really have the crazy different feel to it. They should have tried something on the packaging to really make you think. Super different because the set yeah. is. I mean, everything about this is very different than yeah. it usually is. Pack's oh. so nice, I pulled Steve Smith twice. I, I almost forgot to show. Icky Woods is on the back of that Jeremy Hill. Nice. Well, so what's the front look like? Oh, that, that's real weird. That, yeah. That's very different. But I'm liking it. I'm liking the, the changeup that they have this year. I like that. 87 tops nod. Tom Brady. Where do you stand on Tom Brady? He's suspended. I don't care. Yeah, that's why. Well, I mean, free Brady. Don't free Brady. Eh, I'd say lock him up. Four I'm weeks. I'm indifferent. And you also get the team cards with the Houston Texans, Green Bay Packers, stuff like that. Right on. We have a uh, Fantasy Studs, Aaron Rodgers. DeMarco and Murray, Fantasy Player of the Year. And then Fantasy Focus, Drew Brees. Jordy Nelson. I'm not a big fan of the Fantasy Focus design. We've seen this kind of look before. We have. Um, it's, it's not bad. It's just, it's just we've seen it before, so it doesn't it doesn't really jump out as much to me. Uh, 88 tops, J uh, J uh, J E. Sure. He's a rookie this year. 
He is. I only had one rookie in that pack, except for the 88 card. So what's the deal with the uh, these cards again? Are they? It's, it's like the top 60 insert. I think it's, they okay. just kind of go back throughout the years and have different okay. looks for the cards. How about a Des Bryant pink All Pro card numbered out of 4.99? Nice. Those really jump out at you too. Two more rookies in this pack: Marcus Peters and Sammy Coates. I got a uh, 57. Philip Dorsett, yeah, it's in the 50s. I got a thousand yard club, Le'Veon Bell. He was on my fantasy team last year. I draft tomorrow. Who should I take? I got the eighth pick. Eighth pick? Jordy Nelson. I'm not yeah, getting Eddie do, Lacy. Let's do Jordy Nelson. No, I'm not that dumb. <laughs> I'll probably take Peyton Manning because that's what I always I would do. not take Peyton Manning this year. He can't feel his hands. That's all right. I can't feel my feet. Right, so what's the difference? And you don't play football. I can't I feel know. my face. Exactly. I was trying to make a movie reference. Is that what it was? I can't feel my face? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Two rookies in that pack. I'm not a big fan of the uh, the, the workout day photos. Oh, the I got combine really cool. photos. I got a really cool autograph. Look at you. And it's on card. Probably, probably over-delivered. I bet you get two autos. Though. That wouldn't be too bad. Place. I got a honey badger. Tyrone. All right, I got a Tyler Lockett mini, number 99 out of 250 autograph. Oop. That'll work. I will, uh, I'll take that every day. Shaq Thompson, this guy's going to be awesome for the Magic. Yeah, he would be if he was, uh, if he was seven feet. Yeah, this guy's a little short, too short for that. He's 6'0". So. Yeah, he, I don't think he's Terrence he's McGee. The same thing. But After go Shaq. dogs. Where'd he go? Louisiana State. See, he's in a, a Ravens uniform, so I mm -hmm. thought he might be an Alabama guy because I was going to do some drafts all the Alabama. But I did get an Alabama guy in the pack, Julio Jones, along with a uh, Rob Gronkowski gold. So th this is a very fantasy football focused set. I'm real. It's I'm got a definite CBS it's, Sports fantasy vibe to it. It really it? does. And the reason I say that is they always have the craziest TV graphics for yeah. the stuff. At least that's my old school remember. Memory, remembering. This Jamison Crowder was upside down, so this might be one of the short prints. I honestly can't remember all the images. I had to enter them all into the database. Mm -hmm. I just, there's Check, so many that you just forget. Check out the gallery on Bigger.com so, News, sir. Definitely do that. It's all there. And I don't think the uh, codes this year. Or, yeah, yeah, that's they, what I was looking for. We don't want you to cheat on those. How about a Nelson so. Aguilar? Number 2015, that's a gold. I have not gotten a parallel yet. It's probably the other half of the box. Probably is. Or you just totally blind and missed them. I got a Ryan Tannehill 4,000 yard insert. It looks definitely different from this last year. This card is pretty. Eddie Lacy. Boom. Boom. Randall Tex Cobb. I got all the rookies all at once. Nice. It's the uh, rookie premiere card. You know, they've done that a few years, and it kind of threw me off the first time I saw it because it looks like something out of a baseball set. Yeah. But, you know. Not to say they can't do it here. Well, Tops is also baseball. So That's right. They just kind of make the match. Okay, bit. Bridgewater. Boom. Not really a boom card, but I gave it a boom well, treatment. Matt Asiata will we'll keep up the uh, Vikings. Dante Fowler on draft night. Jeremy Langford. Not draft night. LT. Nice. Lars Taylor. Now, one thing with this brand, it's got the colorful look and the very, you know, kind of futuristic feel but the stock is very skinny yeah so don't go into this thing thinking it's a super premium brand because it looks it but it, it's definitely not printed on Here's my rookies it's not printed on premium stock it's very be gentle with very them. normal stuff here yeah now here's a cool thing a gold uh, or red I don't, know, I don't know how i said gold red uh Cracked ice, kind yeah. of. Well, I, you know, I don't know what it's called. It's in this the sixth. Brand. It's like the sixtieth anniversary parallel. We just call Number it red. Number sixty red. Yeah. We just call it red, but it's their sixtieth anniversary parallel. That's cool. It's got a good touch to it. They've been I doing like a lot it. of that in Bowman. Yeah. And basic tops. Good to see it here. There we got uh, Antonio Brown. We have a director, Mr. Hit. Must be filming. I guess oh so. wait, did I say that? I didn't say that. Got Rob Gronkowski. Adios. Nice. Devin Smith. Here's Eli Manning. Tyler Croft. I'm only like a fourth of the way through a box. You're really slow. Yeah. You've already pulled the hit, so people will stop watching you. <laughs> they might stop paying attention to what I'm doing. He's okay. just not even going to show his cards anymore. Jason Murrow, <laughs> Alfred Blue, Richard Sherman. How about a red foil stamped Jim Hart buyback? All right. That's red cool. foil. I don't know exactly what the hierarchy is. Check out Beggit.com News. You'll find all the details there. I got the uh, I got a fantasy studs red. 
of Rob Gronkowski numbered as 15 out of 60. There you go. And the the serial numbering is in black. It kind of it's kind of like a throwback to some of the yeah. you know earlier kinds that they it's, used. To yeah, I think it's a faster way to, to print number cards actually too. The foil stamping is a little slower, a little more tedious. Adrian Peterson, Richard Perryman, Kalen Clay. Des Bryant, I'll show that one off. Ooh. Odell Beckham Jr., the catch. That's a nice card. That is not the uh, variation, I do know that. Anquan Bolden. This is a very large set too. I want to say it's 550 cards. Oh my gosh. Ditka. 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 Paul Harnig. Ditka. Go pack it. Ditka, Ditka, Ditka. I heard somebody open a can of pop. I heard that. It's almost lunch time. I bet you'll start to hear some noise in the background. I got Devontae Parker. Uh, insert the throwback, that throwback looking insert. I forgot what, honestly, I forgot what it's called. Tennessee Titans, Chandler Jones, Adrian Peterson again, Eli Manning. I have my autograph, and All this right. was totally a planned box here, kids. Oh, very nice. Roll Tide, the number two rookie in this year's Alabama checklist. TJ Yeldon, numbered out of 75. No, 69 out of 75. On, on card, yes. Nice. And uh, I don't know if those were signed at the rookie premiere. Probably because it's got the. Well, no, that may not be. That's probably Photoshop, uh, Photoshop before the premiere. It might be. But uh, that would have been a win for me, sir. I, get, I bet it would be. I already have his auto, but I, I would have been happy with that. Eric Flowers and Nelson Aguilar as my rookies in the pack. Drew Brees. Maybe we're going to get boxes to over-deliver. I have faith in it. We'll see. One autograph or relic in every box. I'm being greedy. I want a second hit. Aren't all card collectors, though, greedy? Pretty like, much. We all want more. How about John Elway? More sticker autos? I'm fine with that. How about Peyton Manning? I don't care. Sticker, as long as it's cleanly signed on the sticker, you know, and the sticker is designed for the uh, card design. Yeah. That's fine. If it's a sticker autograph on, you know, pitch black with black ink, nope. that doesn't really work. Here are the two Broncos rookies that I got in the same there pack, both holding up their jersey, and then Randy Gregory from the Cowboys. I have another Julio Jones, and I want to say that might, there might be a variation between the two, but that card was so long ago, I can't go dig it back out. Mason Crosby, Phil Dawson, or Paul Dawson. Phil Dawson was a kicker for the Browns back in the day. Yeah. And everybody else. And there's Richard Dawson. Who was... And Andre Dawson. Yeah. And Dawson's Creek. You beat me to that one. Dawson and Adventures of Babysitting. Don't mess with the Lords of Hell. There we go. Terry Bradshaw and a thousand yard club. Another Paul Harnick sighting in my box. Uh, your box is over delivering, man. I'll, I'll take your box any day. Well, yeah, all these Packers. But I mean, it's yeah. Jordy Nelson. It's kind of like, yeah, a whole lot of whatever. And who was the other receiver that just, you know, out for the Red, year? Randall Cobb, he's not out for the year. He just sprained his shoulder. Okay. He'll be back for week one. Hey, check it out. Johnny Bench. Yep. Yeah. He is. I was being subtle with that. Here's a. Uh, oh, I got the gold parallel of the uh, top 60 ranking number one. Oh no. My quarterback and yours. Aaron uh, Rodgers. Maybe I should draft him. He should. But he's got no receivers. Aaron Rodgers, it doesn't matter. Does it? Oh. I, I had him a couple years ago and I got destroyed. It's because he got hurt. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, he was hurt for half the year. Roger Staubach. Maybe on Bell again. Amir Abdullah. Abdullah the Butcher. I may draft him just so I can, you know, have his awesome nickname on my team. <laughs> he tore it up yeah, against that one Russell college Wilson. team, and that's, I was just like impressed. What can I say? Nope. I got another gold, number 1,699 out of 2015, Deshaun Jackson. No reference to Leah still on his card, but here's a Devin still card. A veteran whose daughter has been a story in the NFL world with her cancer battle. Wouldn't be shocked if we had saw a card of her at some point somewhere. DeMarco Murray as an eagle. Nice. Demarius Thomas, Jason Jameson Crowder, Ken Ben Koyak. Antonio Brown and the Bumblebee. Yeah, those uniforms are weird. The more I see them, the more I like them, but they're still weird. Devin Funches. 
I don't know how much I actually like those jerseys. I'm That's what I'm saying. Fans. It's a little, it's a little out there. Brandon Cooks, Andre Ellington, Zach Ertz. Ertz so good. Gost Steven Gostkowski, Cam Newton, Dan Marino, Matt Ryan, DeMarco Murray, again, fantasy studs. Same photograph from the last card, I believe. Josh Harper, no relation to Bryce, and the NFL Premier roster card. Okay. I'm leaving that in just for fun, the okay. apathy. Yeah. He's telling you to hurry up and you're like, you know, we're giving the cameraman cramps because he's sitting so long here. Andrew Luck, Percy Harvin. Oh yes, the number one rookie in the set this year as far as I'm concerned, Amari Cooper. Uh, I hang with Mr. Homer. Cooper all the time. Get Here's it? Brandon Marshall with the Jets. Nice. DeAndre Hopkins, Fantasy Focus. A lot of packs in this one, oh. sir. A lot of packs. Who's that guy? Jamis Winston. James Winston. Jamis. Oh, crab legs. Keith Mumphrey. Crab legs, that's right. <laughs> you know how much heckling he's going to take across the line from defensive line, defensive guys about crab legs? And fans? Yeah, no Wait doubt. till he goes to Philadelphia instead of snowballs, they'll start throwing Strong crab, crab legs at him. No doubt. Snow crab legs at that. There you go. That's right. That'll work. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that, too. I mean, Mike, Mike Singletary can stare at you all day long. It's, you know, <laughs> anything you got to do, you got to do. All right, I got the 1,000-yard uh, club. I thought it was the red at first, but it's not. It's just because it's the Texans. This guy's back. J.J. Watt. Return of the Mac. Oh, God. Bryce Petty. No relation to Tom or Kyle or Richard. Or Jeff. Or Lori. Yeah, nothing. That was a, uh, what's her name back in that movie? Some, uh, something Girl, Lori Petty. Come on, somebody. Nope. Demolition Girl, uh, I don't remember. You're on your own. Danny Woodhead, Julius Peppers, Cleveland Browns, <laughs> Roethlisberger, J.J. Watt, Matt Ryan, Larry Fitzgerald. It's really all about the rookies. And here right. I got Jalen Collins and Jamis, Jamis, Jamice, Mr. Crowley. Mr. Crabble, let's go with that. It's a yeah. long video, but yeah. we're, we're showing as much as we can without yeah. Tom Brady. Without giving the cameraman, you know, medical visit. We got an all pro of Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> oh, God. Todd Gurley, 84. Here's uh, Amir Abdullah. CJ Spiller. I had him last year, traded him for Mark Ingram. Was that a good trade for you? Yeah, because CJ Spiller got hurt. Good then. And ironically, now he's a saint. Whoops. Fumble this card. Reggie Bush, Josh Robinson, Keith Mumphrey. Yeah, it's kind of hard to read these names upside down, but I'm doing it. I really like this shot of Marcus Wheaton. This is a really cool action shot of him oh. catching the ball. Here's the other Antonio Brown. Nice. So one of those is a short print. Sweet. I think it's this one. Riley Cooper, Elvis Dummerville, and Eli C. Roll Tide. Robert Quinn, Rashad yeah. Green, AJ Green, Denzel Perryman. He was awesome in that one movie, Flight, where he flew the you know thing upside down. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Flight. King Kong, King, 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 King Kong ain't got nothing on him either. You know your product's deep when you got Mason Crosby in there. When you got kickers. Nice. Brandon Marshall. We love Marshall so much. We, do love we are Marshall we so are. much. We got. The gold and the regular in the same pack. Duke Johnson, rocking the ugliest uniforms in the history of the NFL, besides yes. the Bumblebee. And the, uh, the irony, the irony, the ironic thing here is they did that on purpose. Yeah, Eric Dickerson, why they do it on purpose? I don't know. Ugly uniforms apparently sell. I think so, the Dickerson might be a variation. So we got. A, I think it is yeah. actually. All we have old a, timers uh, are variations. Past and present performers. We have Trey Polamalu, and on the back we have Mean Joe Green. Nice. Yeah, Polamalu is now in the past too. He retired, so we really, can we really call him president anymore? That's okay. He was he was active when the check checklist was made. Matt Stafford Gold. And, and besides, he's a legend. He's legends live forever. This is true. In the present. He got super boring. They're always legendary. Okay. I, I actually have seen that dude in person. He was, uh, he had the hair in check. It was at the Super Bowl EA Sports party. He had the oh, hair cool. all, had the hair all like tucked under a hat and was totally unassuming. You would have thought he was just a dude. He wasn't. He didn't look like an NFL dude. That's funny. He blended in with long hair. 
And here's just a regular Aaron Rodgers, just because I gotta show him. Alshon Jeffrey, Marcus Murphy, Carlos Williams, and a Amari Cooper. I just fumbled him. him. The best rookie in the box, right there. So, well, hopefully he's the best rookie of the year, so I can get some points out of him for fantasy well, football. I may have to. Yeah. You think he's a first rounder? No. <laughs> I, I, I think I got him in like the ninth or tenth round. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, very cool. You I'll did, check the odds. It did over deliver. It is over delivering, but then again, it is the 60th anniversary edition of Tops Football. Which one did you get? Anthony Barr and a Jason Witten pink, although pinks are not as rare in football. Uh, let's see, Sean Mannion. Got a Victor Cruz gold. Okay. That's, that's something, right? So, Jason Witten pink, along with a magenta printing plate, which is funny, pink, magenta. Yeah. Right? Before I show it, I'm going to check the odds. Because a base, you know, base tops box delivering a printing plate is pretty fun. Well, while you're doing that, I keep opening. Yeah, exactly. Here. Uh, hmm. Wow. One in 716 packs. So that's like one in every two or three Rokowski. cases. Anthony Barr, Minnesota Vikings. Magenta printing plate. Along with the TJ Yeldon on-card autograph. I'm a fan of this box right now. I think you. I think you won. Demarius Thomas, Jay Cutler, Jesse James. No. Here's a Jordy Nelson Gregory. pink out of 499. I like the look of the pink cards. They're, just, they're not as rare as they are in baseball and elsewhere. But we have another passive presence. We got Troy Palomalu, and on the back, Rod Woodson instead. So you got a double uh, Palomalu. Rolando McLean, Roll Tide. Eric Dickerson, Demarius Thomas, 84. Final pack: Cameron Wake, Richard Sherman. Melvin Gordon, Dominique Brown, my final two rookie cards, and not much else going on in that pack. Patriots team card with Tom Brady. He's suspended. I don't yeah. believe in freeing him. So you get teamwork because I'm behind you. Okay, that's worse. That, that's nice to know you're very supportive of me. Yep. He backs me. He's behind me. Damn. But when I get See something you. awesome in this pack, it's mine. That's up to you in the cover, yeah. Alan Hearns, no, I don't care. I'm kidding. Anyway. All right, here's a Super Bowl champions card with the uh, guy who just got suspended and Danny Shelton. This guy, this guy's destined to win lots of titles. Why is that? Because when he wins two in a row, he gets to repeat. And then Eddie Lacy will tie. And then he can three peat. Yeah, exactly, four peat, five peat, six peat. There you go. As long as he's not Pete Rose, we're okay. Yeah, that's true. His knees couldn't hold up at like 65. I don't think it. Not in the NFL. Here's a Odell Beckham Jr., another uh, 80s looking insert there. Eric Wett Weddle. Oop, another Odell Beckham Jr. Okay, I, now I really want to know what the parallel structure is on the buybacks, and I would find out on Beggar.com News because it's there. Uh, this is a black foil buyback. Leon Gray, 1980, I think. Tops. Let's see here. Yes, 1980. It's not a star player by any means, but so I wasn't totally familiar. But uh, hey, check this out: Demarco Murray, uh, Roethlisberger, Entrell Roll, some Vikings guy. My final card in the final pack is T.J. Yeldon, Roll Tide. All right, and I got another J. P.J. I'm taking T.J. P.J. T.J. All right, cool. I may I may draft an all Alabama team this year. That is a horrible idea. AJ McCarron quarterback, first round. Mark Ingram, Eddie Lacy. Get them early in the first round. They actually had a stat that said that there's not been a starting quarterback from Alabama in the NFL since like the 70s or something like that. Richard Todd. I don't remember what it was. It was Jay just, Barker. Probably didn't start. It was not. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. But you need when you got Joe Namath and Bart Starr, does it really matter? Yes, because those guys are so old. I know. You need somebody Hall new. Hall of Famers, sir. Hall of Famers. In fact, with, if we want to get all collegial about this, how many NFL Hall of Famers Wisconsin have? Uh, I'm Alabama's not got seven. I'm not claiming that Wisconsin's the best. I know. I'm just, you know, so. playing that card when I can. Um, you know, overall, this is a, a very yeah. deep product, which has a lot of players you don't normally see. The fact that we got two on-card autos, I yeah. think that, that, yeah. that's a win right there. Yeah. I don't know if that's anywhere near the norm or not. No idea. Uh, no relics either, so... Yeah, which I actually like that. I like the, the fact that we got autographs instead of relics, and then you over. Well, of course, you should play. you should like that, but I don't think that's the norm. I think it's no. auto or relic. Oh, I think I think we we definitely yeah. got lucky with ours. Um, printing plates, one in seven hundred sixteen packs. 
It looks like one to two, at least one rookie in every pack. Sometimes two, maybe more if you hit a parallel. I think I got three in one of my packs. You know, this design packs. is very futuristic. Yeah. I'm not a, sure if I'm a totally a big fan of it, to tell you the truth, for this kind of a product. It right. doesn't hurt. Yeah. But it just totally feels different, which is... I like the change. Something I mean, I'm adjusting. They used to have that simple white border and stuff, and it was very clean and very yeah. good looking, but this is just kind of a... a the experiment, I guess, that I think it works. I yeah. like it a lot. Yeah, it's got a different feel. I think I think this new design, if it was on a slightly thicker stock where it felt even yeah, meatier, little... then I would be like totally like yeah, no question, totally awesome. Um, but you know, it's still pretty solid. I probably will check out some some boxes here once it gets a little more affordable for little old poor me. You are poor. You saw my rent check. I did. Out. That's crazy. That's right. <laughs> Just go buy a so, house. Uh, yeah, exactly. To, we'll have to buy <laughs> cases of cards first. But anyway, uh, 2015 Topps Football. This is the uh, the uh, the flagship edition of yep. the 60th anniversary of the, the longest running football card maker, and potentially the last fully licensed Topps Football set. They are right. adamant they will be making football cards in the future. Yep. So we'll see. Then one day we might see them licensed again. Who knows? Not even. Who knows? It could be tomorrow. I it mean, could, it's it one of those things lines. where business you know things change all the time yep. so you know this was the lowest end kind of product of the year from tops and we got a lot of high-end uh, collecting yeah. value there That's, and obviously the set collectors will have some fun with this it is and it's it, very heavy on the rookies perfect for through the mail autographs if the, if the new guys do it oh yeah definitely. Uh, lots of variety in a box lots of parallels lots of inserts lots and, of stuff uh, lots Let's of just stuff go with stuff lots of stuff and a totally different back as well yep all right, well, this is out now, checklisted on Bega.com now, available hobby and retail right now. Price gets soon. That's what I was going to say, in a couple weeks at the, at the latest. And uh, until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Justin. Just.